giving gifts to men literally stress me out. Get it for that man that you're just like, clean up buddy, it's time. Speaking of woolly men, screw the patriarchy, okay? Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda Jewel, and if you are new here, hey, hit the subscribe button. I am really excited for today's video yet again because I am on top of it this year. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys a gift guide for him or any of the masculine energy in your life and I am very excited because men are the hardest to shop for. They give us a lot of trouble, you know, in this society um, as a whole and one of them literally being how they receive gifts and what they want because a lot of men that I know in my life have the get what they want when they want it syndrome and they have everything they could ever want. So it's quite hard picking out something materialistic to give them. Today I have done my market research and I did some field surveying and I scoured the internet for some really staple gift ideas to give the man in your life, the masculine energy in your life, you name it. I'm pretty proud. I'm pretty damn proud of this because I had a really hard time putting together my wish list slash like a gift guide for her and here I am blowing it out of the park. I mean I have probably more gift ideas for him than I did for myself. So I put gifts in here that you can give your boyfriend, your dad, your brother, your grandpa, your uncle. Let's just go ahead and dive right in. As always, I will have all the links down below to make it super easy for you guys. And let's start out with a ring doorbell. Okay, this is all the rave. I got it for my grandpa, I think last Christmas, and he is obsessed with it. He loves to see who comes to the door, what they're saying <laughs> when they leave, um, packages that come, deliveries that come, maintenance that comes. He gets to see it all on his phone and he keeps it in an arsenal. So love that for him. I think it's great for any dad. Actually a lot of the men in my life like already have one. So I know my uncle has one, my brother has one. Um, so I think I will be getting my dad one for Christmas and hopefully he's not watching this. And speaking of my dad, I am going to also get him a Furbo. So this is a really great idea for men that have dogs or cats, I guess. And um, sorry, I'm just like, I think you can use this for cats. Basically, it is a spying cam, which <laughs> freaks me out, like a device that you can have recording in your house, and so you can see your dogs, get to talk to them through it. You can even, like, dish out a treat when you're not home. I think my dad would have a blast with that. He has about four dogs, and so they are his livelihood, and I think just him being away from home and being able to see the dogs will really help that separation anxiety moment, you know? Speaking of my father, um, he loves TVs. So unfortunately, he owns every size TV there is and I cannot buy him one that's bigger than that because I cannot afford a million inch TV. However, if your dad has a smaller TV and you would like to upgrade it because that is financially possible, I will have a 50 inch link down below. It's a smart TV engraved gift. So I got this for my grandpa with like my his favorite picture of him and my grandma on it and he loves it. It was like an early anniversary present, but it's a great idea for the holidays and yeah. Next, I'm thinking honestly every guy in my life would really like this. It is a neck massager that you can kind of adjust with your hand and I know I would honestly really want one of these because my stress pints up in my shoulders and my neck area. So I'm sure all these all these grown men are probably just walking around with knots in their shoulder and would really appreciate this neck massager. In the same realm, they have a foot slash ankle massager that looks really nice. It's like $300, so this is definitely a splurge item. And then lastly, in this same vibe, is a massage gun. I know I've had one before. Cameron really likes it. Whether they're working out or they have a high stress life, having like a massage gun really helps get like some of the really big knots that you have. Next, I found this dog paw print clay thing that I think my dad would really like. So he better not be watching this video, honestly. I, honest, does he know YouTube's a thing? Probably not, so I'm good. He'd probably cry. And I'd love making men cry. 
Next up is for probably the younger man in your life, but these are the anti-ball crushing joggers from Lululemon. Yes, that's actually the name. It's called ABC Joggers. Actually, our friend Hannah Waring and Carter put us onto these. So I got Cameron his first, I got Cameron his first pair of anti-ball crushing joggers and we've never turned back since. Like, they are the most comfortable pants he owns, and they're also really expensive. So, if you want to spoil your mans this year, definitely get him some of those. With that being said, they also have an ABC slim pant that look perfect for going into the office, playing golf. As long as Cameron's not watching this, he might get a pair. But if he is watching this, he's not getting any of this. Also from Lululemon, they have an Evolution Polo that is just supposed to be very comfortable and amazing quality materials, which stays true for all of Lululemon clothing. I'm not being biased. Like, I get why they're expensive. They're actually some of the best clothes that I own and same for Cameron. So this shirt is $100, which is insane to me. But I kind of want to go in store and just see what it feels like and what it looks like to see if it's worth a hundred dollars. I don't know. But if you have a guy in your life that plays golf or you know just goes to the office in polos, it's a really good idea. For the music junkie in your life, you could get him a record player that is like rustic or vintage looking. For the man that drinks in your life, you could get him a custom whiskey bottle with glasses which I just think if you're going to get a whiskey bottle and glasses, why not make them custom? Why not add an extra personalized touch to it, you know? Next is sports game tickets or honestly like any type of sportswear. Now I'm going to show you guys some shoes that I found on the interwebs. So I really wanted to give you guys an example of a good athletic shoe if the man in your life needs to up his shoe game for the gym, for walking, for anything um ultra boosts are amazing i love them for myself and i've seen a lot of men wear them and everyone is just under the same consensus that they are the most comfortable shoe on the planet so they are pretty expensive so it's definitely a splurge item next are grand pro sneakers i just really like the look of these two they're beautiful colors both of them but they're also very different you can't well i guess you could go wrong with AirPods, like if they don't have an Apple product, which yes guys, there are plenty of people in my life that do not have iPhones. Scary, but real. So AirPods for the man that uses a Mac or an Apple phone. Speaking of the guy on his laptop, a laptop stand's a really good idea. I think my boyfriend would really like that because he spends, <laughs> he spends a good 90% of his time on his computer. Speaking of all that time on the computer, blue light glasses. So I recommend getting the guy in your life that's always on the computer a pair, especially if he already is like into the look of glasses. It's a good investment. Next is like a little skincare travel kit. So if this is like the Jack and Carrie set, I think is really cute and it's always nice to get men some like grooming things. Um, that sounds really weird, but yeah. Next, I think everyone needs a good duffel bag. So this is just a very like masculine but chic duffel bag that I think is good for travel or whatever else he's, I mean money. Like if your, you know, man puts lots of money in a duffel bag, get him a good one. <laughs> get him a good duffel bag. Next up are watches. So just a splurge and like play dream life. I put these two Movado watches that are very expensive but I've always really liked the brand Movado um, for a really weird reason but anyway and then also this fossil watch looked really chic and it's a lot less expensive um, but it's still really high quality so I put that on the list as well <laughs> next I put a money clip but I didn't put any type of money clip, okay? Of course, I put a $200 YSL money clip because that is ridiculous. And I I don't, now that I think back to this, uh, it's just very funny. My grandpa uses a money clip, so I thought it would be cool to get him a YSL one. Don't worry, we're not going to because him and I talked about it. And then I realized he would think I have lost all the brain cells left if I bought a $200 money clip, so whatever. 
Then I found a wallet that looks really nice. It's really good quality and it's not too expensive. <laughs> like it's not, you know, like YSL expensive. So I put that there, but don't you worry. I put another YSL thing. Honestly, this is like me if I was a dad. I'm like, get me a YSL card holder. Um, yeah, it's pretty, it's quite the price, but it's cool. Next are gift sets. So every man in my life, ever since I was probably 15, has gotten a bath or shower gift set from me, no fail, every single year. Because they are the best, and, and by the best I mean they're inexpensive and they're available at Target and Walmart, and that's just convenient. And so I like to give like beer, beer care sets. That doesn't seem right, like beer grooming kits. There we go. Next, in the theme of cologne, there's a Lilabo perfume, like, sample set, which is kind of ridiculous that they're samples and they cost $90. But if you know anything about Santal, like, I mean, Lilabo, I use Santal 33, it is unisex, it is delicious, it is expensive, but it lasts on you all day. So, next are Ugg slippers, which is really funny to me because they don't look like Uggs, but I guarantee you they are so comfortable and they have the, like, you can kind of like wear them out because I think the sole of the shoe um, is rubber. So I think I might get a pair for someone, someone in my life. Not you, Cameron, if you're watching this. Sorry, dude. Not you. But I think they'd be a really good gift. Next is a Manscaped razor. So... I really like the branding of Manscaped and I like the play on words. Um, get it for your hairy friend, you know what I mean? Like, get it for that man that you're just like, clean up buddy, it's time. I Subtle hint, you know? Speaking of wooly men, um, I found this wool jacket. Speaking of wooly men, I found this wool jacket on H&M which is just it's beautiful so one thing I'd say is ladies if you are buying your your man like your boyfriend or your guy friend a jacket definitely buy one that you would want to steal or better yet what you want to see them in like I do that every holiday birthday whatever sometimes I, there's not even an excuse and I just buy my boyfriend like clothes that I want to see him in because you're it's like you're but it's like you're building your sims character so when you dress your boyfriend or your fiance or your husband, it's literally like you're creating your own little like boyfriend. I don't know. That sounds crazy, but Cameron likes it, so whatever. Next is a coffee warmer. So my grandpa lives by these. Um, he has a coffee on hand literally all day. Therefore, it gets cold. Therefore, he needs a coffee warmer. So next is Polo Cologne. So I actually worked with Ralph Lauren last Vlogmas. It's Polo Ralph Lauren cologne it's the blue one and then it also came with the travel size cologne and then deodorant and he loves it like he's out right now I'm pretty sure or he's he's like almost out from all the stuff and so he wants another one next is an electric vacuum so men don't like to clean we know this they think it's a woman's job screw the patriarchy okay however let this work in our advantage to get him something that may actually benefit him which is an electric vacuum cleaner. Like those little circle ones that like go like a robot. Cause then, no, like someone's cleaning up after him. That's his dream. All men just want to be cleaned up after. So get him that little vacuum cleaner thing. Thank me later. And then lastly is the boy smells, cl what? The boy smells candles. So Cameron and I actually ran into these in a little boutique in Dallas and thought they were so cool. I love the name, I love the branding, I love the smells. Um, the one that I put was Cowboy Kush because I love just like cowboy and it's just so cute. So definitely a good idea for him, especially if he likes candles. Otherwise, I mean, just get him any kind of candle. Like he's not going to really care. Just don't make it fruity and make sure the label's like not, you know, it, it doesn't mess up his manly aesthetic, you know. That is all. I'm sure there are so many other things that I could put for having, <laughs> I could put to give a guy. But I'm really glad that like now I have a staple collection of gift ideas for men that I can look back on for the years to come because giving gifts to men literally stress me out. 
So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this was helpful at all. And again, everything is linked down below. I will talk to you guys in the next video.